if I would have to look at my life, my spiritual journey, there's been two things that have fundamentally changed how I, I view God in the text. One of them is this concept of the gospel. And the other one is discipleship of Jesus. These two things are massively different due to the 400 years of Western thought in America. The anti-monarchy language of Martin Luther and the independence of America from the monarchy of England has separated the modern church from this idea of a king and a kingship. We revolt against it. It is so far against of what we want. We are independent Americans. Don't you dare try to reign over me. I have my rights, my will, my liberties. And Christ is saying, but wait a minute. It's not of this world. But he says, this is a new king, a new kingdom. How many sermons have you heard about the kingdom of heaven? How many times have you heard sermons about the coronation of this king and when it happened and how it happened? But what is it like? If you travel to England, you can stand outside of Buckingham Palace and know that the flag's up there, know that now the king of England lives there. But then when you hear that our king came to earth, he's born in a cave in the midst of the manure, doesn't have a castle, doesn't have servants and slaves, doesn't have chariots and gold. If you had to define what the kingdom of heaven is like, what would you say? Is it eternal? Is it only out there? All of these are playing into what this kingdom of heaven is like. I love the story of a centurion coming to Jesus. A centurion, a Roman centurion comes to Jesus and says, help me. My servant is dying. It's sick. Please come help me. And Christ says, you want me to come help? And he's like, wait, no, no, no. You have control. You have power. If you say go, go. If you say come, come, they'll do it. And Christ steps back and says, I have not seen faith like this in all of Israel. A Roman centurion has more faith than Peter? A Roman centurion has more faith than Mary, his mother? A Roman centurion that's responsible for persecution of the children of Israel? But he sees Christ and says, that's a king. He's reigning. If he says go, they go. And here again, a king that doesn't have a throne, doesn't have a palace, doesn't even have servants, born in a cave. And Roman centurion says, that guy right there has more power 